All steam engines are to go back to their sheds, Thomas. Sir Topham Hat's orders. Oh, but I don't need to go back to the shed. And my passengers need to get to their stations. Thomas, I think you should do as Percy says. It's Sir Topham Hat's orders. I'm sure I've got enough coal for one more run. Oh, cinders and ashes. I should have listened to Percy. We told you so. Oh, now we're stuck. I can't even go back to the shed. <sighs> well, at least we're safe here. But how will the passengers get to their stations? And how will Sir Topham Hat keep the railway running without any coal? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> The diesels were put to work doing all the jobs to keep the railway running. Diesel Express coming through! The steam engines were all stuck in their sheds, waiting for the coal to arrive. Thank goodness you had enough coal to make it back, Gordon. <laughs> but what about Thomas? It's freezing. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, I wish I was back at Tidmouth. Uh, <laughs> oh, you would be if you'd done what Sir Topham had told you, Thomas. And now we're stranded out here in the wild. Ah! Oh. Ghastly. If we don't get rescued soon, it'll take till spring to warm up my boiler. Oh! Hey, Diesel! <laughs> Since you're being useful, uh, why don't you shunt us back to Tidmouth Sheds? <laughs> I can't be stopping to help you, Thomas. I've got important jobs to do. The big freeze continued all the next day. Be three kings of Orient bearing gifts we've traveled too far. <gasps> oh, someone's coming. Maybe they can shunt us back to Tidmouth. Maybe not then. <sighs> What do you want now, Diesel? That's no way to speak to someone who has just collected the coal for all you silly steamers. No, Diesel, no, you're a hero. hero! No, I'm not. I'm... <sighs> Thomas, you're back! I heard what happened. It must have been cold on that siding. Oh, it was cold, Percy. Very cold. With coal for their fireboxes, all the steam engines could get back to work again. Express coming through! It's getting warmer! The big freeze is over! The ice is melting! Oh. Melting. <laughs> and Diesel continued to be a hero. <laughs> At least for a little while. I need you to take some spare parts to the steamworks. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Um, but before you go, it's... Well, it's just I've been wondering... Um, why am I number 68? Hmm, I don't rightly know. You were number 68 when you first arrived here. Oh. But uh, when I have a moment, I'll check the records and see if I can find out. Oh, great! That's 
Yankee, sir. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there were 67 other Phillips before you. <laughs> what? 67 Phillips before me? Oh, my. Ellen, stop! Oh, no! You silly little engine! Whatever are you doing on my line? Broken fence! Sheep! All over the line! Phew! Oh, oh, oh! Thank you, Philip. 63, 64, 65. Oh! Oh, Gordon! Philip! What happened? Little Philip here prevented a nasty accident, sir. Is that right, Philip? Well, I, I I just saw the sheep on the line and... He's being modest, sir. He was extremely brave. Well done, Philip. Oh, yes, well done, Philip. This little diesel saved my whole flock, <laughs> all 68 of them. 68? Oh, yes, that reminds me. I have good news for you, Philip. I've done some research and discovered why you're number 68. The reason is... Oh, it doesn't really matter anymore, sir. Uh, what? But... I want to be number 68 because I saved 68 sheep and no other engine has ever done that. Mm, very true. And everyone will remember you for that. <laughs> well done, number 68. Sorry I teased you before about your number, Philip. When it comes to being brave, you're number one. Don't be silly, Gordon. Huh? Well, everybody knows I'm number 68, and it's great. Thomas the Tank Engine. Sir, what, what are you doing here? I know all about your unscheduled stops, Thomas. I've been following you. Oh, I am really sorry, sir. I was trying to help Bertie's passengers, but it got a bit out of control. A bit? <laughs> I'll say. Then you'll be pleased to know I've made other arrangements to help Bertie's passengers. Bertie? He's back. No, Thomas, he isn't. <gasps> Gee, but uh, I thought you'd been turned into a hen house. Oh, uh, only for a while. Then I was a mobile vegetable stand. And now I'm back in service. <laughs> and if you don't mind my saying so, we'd all be better off if everyone simply used roads instead of railways. Now, now, Bulgy, don't go getting all anti-rail again, or I might find some chickens who need a place to live. But, oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And now that you don't have to worry about Bertie's passengers, I'll expect you to be bang on time for the rest of the day, Thomas. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Huh. Cheerio. You! <laughs> I don't suppose you fancy a race back to Knapford? What? I certainly do not. <laughs> Down with railways! Down with railways? That sounded like a challenge to me. Oh, Thomas! He said he didn't want to race. Woohoo! Thomas! <laughs>